Last week, Dell announced the XPS 13 at CES, their latest version of their Ultrabook to hit store shelves. We got one on hand and we give you a quick tour. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Danny Rubino here with Windows Central, and yes, we got the Dell XPS 13 2015 edition on hand here. We picked it up at our local Microsoft store where they are now in stock. Now, I should be uh, specific here, this is the 899 version, which is the only one available right now, but there are four other ones depending on configuration. So this sports the new Broadwell Core i series, which includes the i3, the i5, and i7, depending on how much money you have. This is the Core i5, it goes for $899. It comes with four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage and a 1080p non-touchscreen display. So you can though go all the way up to a Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, 512 gigabytes of storage and a Quad HD Plus touch display. So you can really go up there. Uh, that, that will run you about $1,900 by the way, whereas this one is only $899. There's even one for $799 which sports the Core i3. Uh, let's give a quick tour here though. You do have a USB port on this side and one on the other, both 3.0, of course. You get a little cool battery meter here. Dell likes to do these kind of things where you push it in and it gives you a little rating there. It shows you how much battery you have, which is kind of nice. Uh, you also have, of course, headphone jack, a mini display port, power plug. And on the other side, you do have a full SD card slot, which is really nice, as well as a Kensington uh, lock in case you need that as well. Uh, you can see it's a very clean laptop. Now, I've always liked the XPS lineup, but I have to admit that the next generation here uh, for 2015 it did a really bang up job i think this design is superior mostly because the bottom now is metal it used to be carbon fiber the carbon fiber now is on the inside i'll show you that in a moment you can see the nice vent here very clean now just a couple of screws but no stickers no labels or anything so um just very clean coming to the other side of course you got the dell logo once again also very clean uh if you look at the side though this is just gorgeous right i love the little angle cut there and this metal lining that uh, has the outside of the device. I just think it looks very sharp. Now let's take a look at the device itself. I'll open her up here. So you got the keyboard here, precision trackpad. So that is a joint venture with Microsoft. They basically said in 2013, they're going to <laughs> take, uh, you know, seize the opportunity here to nail this trackpad thing. They're going to work with manufacturers. And so this is probably one of the best trackpads you can get in a Windows PC, which have been criticized, mostly because the manufacturers were doing it themselves and each one had their own opinions of how it worked. Microsoft said enough of that. We're going to do this. We'll set the standards. We'll set the gestures. And and you just put it in there and they did that it's a very good trackpad very good size uh the clicking is about the lower half here for the right and left buttons and it works very well keys are backlit for those of you wondering about a coil wine no this does not have coil wine i spoke to dell about that they said that was a supplier issue that they had uh, it only got out in a few laptops last year and has been since resolved. And in fact, they have standards now in place to try to catch that, to prevent that from happening again. So a uh, very quiet keyboard. I don't hear anything, uh, which is very good. It's also exceptionally quiet. I mean, it does have a fan. It's not a Core M, uh, but even some Core Ms have a fan like the Yoga 3 Pro. Uh, it, this is actually quieter than the Yoga 3 Pro and I have no issue with it whatsoever. It stays very cool and it just, uh, it has exceptional performance. This is a Core i5, but if I had to describe it to you guys in terms of how it feels, if there was such a thing as a Core i6 Haswell, I think this would be it. Uh, it. It feels faster than the original Core 5, but of course it's not a Core i7 either. But it's very fast and very responsive. I need to, of course, do actual benchmarks on that. But that's just my first impressions. I've only had this for a few hours. Uh, keys are backlit, as I said. Very good key travel. Uh, just feels really good. I have no issues whatsoever. You got your function keys on there as well for you guys. I know some of you are uh, aficionados with the function keys. Uh, backspace is uh, adequately sized. It's not huge, but it's definitely uh, bigger than your normal keys. So big fan of that. You have your power button up here as well. This is a soft touch paint. So previous Dell's uh, XPS lines have had, always had that, and this does too. But you can see now the carbon fiber uh, that is on board here. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's a really nice design. I think it looks excellent. 
and overall just uh, you know works very well. And, and let me show you something quickly here before I get to the full display. That is actually a camera. So uh, I know a lot of people are talking about the Infinity display, which refers to how thin this is right here. Um, and that's because it's made by Sharp actually. But they did squeeze the camera in there. And truth be told, it's actually a really good camera in terms of quality. Now the angle is a little strange. I'll put a sample up on the on Windows Central. You can see what it's like. So the angle comes up a little bit and you can sometimes see your hand. Uh, but you know, for what it's worth, <laughs> I don't know where else they could have put that. Let me zoom out, zoom out here and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if you look at the top of the display, there's just simply no room for a camera to go up there. Of course, if you're really bothered, you can just apply your own camera and be all set there. Uh, but yeah, so you get a front facing camera, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let me do my little password here. Uh, here's the display. Now this display is a 1080p display. So I wanna make sure that's clear. They, there's two versions. There's a QHD plus, which is the higher end one. And then there's a 1080p non-touch. So it is a non-touch display. Uh, it's also matte, which I think looks really good. Once again, made by Sharp, same infinity type design, but this is uh, cheaper and you get better battery life with that basically. And so you have to consider this when buying this laptop. This is supposed to get 15 hours of battery life. I can't say if it does or does not yet, but the estimates do often range between 12 and 14 hours. So uh, that is definitely in the high end, but we'll have to see how it actually works. The display though is really nice. I really like it evenly lit. I do not see any light leakage on it. Once again, it's made by Sharp and they have a pretty good reputation with their Aquios designs. And I think that carries over here very well. I don't mind the lack of touchscreen on this, to be honest. Uh, with the gesture support, you can do all the things you do on Windows 8 without touching the screen. And responsiveness is very good. So take that as you will. Um, for some people, they're going to just want that better battery life. And so that is the trade-off there as well. But, uh, Overall, just a really excellent design. Like I said, it's super quiet. Put it up to the monitor. You can't hear it. There's nothing. There's nothing coming out of this. Now, the fan does kick on. I have heard it, but um, very rare. I did watch 1080p video on this. No stutter whatsoever. And while streaming Netflix, there was no fan on for that either. So very good. Uh, Wi-Fi is good too. Uh, I really have nothing bad to say about this. Now I'm going to play around with it for the next week. I'm taking it with me to Redmond to cover the Windows 10 event next week and we'll see how it actually holds up on the plane and live blocking. But head to Windows Central to see my full write-up of this. I'll also be getting the high-end version with the Core i7 and Quad HD display later this month and yes I'll do a head-to-head and give you my impressions of between the two. But I'll be kind of honest I'm really in love with this Core i5 version and I think for $899 this is a hell of a deal. It's probably the nicest Ultrabook you can get right now uh, although I'd like to see what Samsung could do. But there you go. Head to Windows Central and tell us what you think. Take care. Bye.